Hey everybody, welcome to another fascinating episode of Cote's Cube. I'm joined today by Mr. Timmy Reyes. How you doing, brother? Good. How about yourself, man? I'm probably not as good as you because you just got back from Porto for like a month. Yeah, you know, I um, spend a lot of my time down there and it's something that I really wanted to do and kind of like a, a boring summer in California. So I was like, you know, let's let's take some big boards, let's t- take our short boards and go find some waves and go get freaking there. tubed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but it's nice to see you. It's been a long time. I know. I think you were on the Cube in Australia a yeah. year ago, so welcome yeah. back. <laughs> Uh, you're all tan. Do you, do you speak Spanish? Obviously, you spend a lot of time in Mexico. I am terrible at speaking Spanish. You know what, though? I am going to get. Uh, I just getting a Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone shipped to my house. They should be. Stone. They should be a sponsor. I noticed that um, it's easier to speak Spanish after like two beers for some reason. <laughs> well, you know the confidence that we lack <laughs> when we don't have beers in our system. You know, come out after you have one. Exactly. You feel like, you you know, like that's the what they say. Start rolling way better. <laughs> now, uh, you know, speaking of being in Mexico, you're always chasing swells. Um, for the layman out there, like, what what is your theory? What's your – how do you, like, you know, figure out where and when to go? Um, you know, for s- certain spots like Puerto, it's like, it's like our Hawaii, so to speak, and, um, on this coast. And you can see it coming from – you know, days away, and um, generally I wait for to see the swell to come in off the internet. You know, you just got all the fun websites you can go to and choose from, and um, there's a, only a couple that I use now that I agree with them. You trust. I trust, yeah. <laughs> and so if they don't work, I get a little bit frustrated at times, but, um, you know, most of them are pretty solid, and that's what I do, you know, just look at the maps and go, okay, let's go today and bail out and... Um, I made a decision actually from coming from Cape Town uh, earlier in the summer, and I was going to stay there for like a month and just go, okay, I'm going to be here, and that's it. I'm going to wait for the swell. Waited two weeks, no waves. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're out of there. And I saw the swell coming for, um, you know, for Puerto, and I was like, you know, let's take everything I have, basically from J Bay. Came home, left all my stuff. Leave your wetsuits at home. Just chucked them, kicked them <laughs> to the wall. I was like, okay, this is enough cold for me. It must be nice to uh, just decide that you're going to go to Porto for a month. That's a pretty good lifestyle choice. Yeah, well, it's nice to be tan for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's all bronzed. Okay, um, now we have a surf contest coming up at Lowers, the uh, ASP Dream Tour. <laughs> you call it the Dream Tour? Oh, this year has not been a dream. It's been more of a nightmare. for. Not that dreamy, huh? No, for this year, I think for a lot of guys, it's, it's been... You know, for the guys that like bigger waves, it's just been pretty much boring for the last couple of years on tour. And um, we've surfed kind of some fun waves here and there, but more after the Connors or before the Connors. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm getting ready for lowers. I've been training every single day. Actually, I'm still sweaty probably from my training before. And, um, you know, my hopes are high to, to finish good this, this next event. Um, win it. You know? Just win it. That's all you got to do. I, I know it's going to be small, this next one, so we're, we're going to go shape longboards. Rad. Okay, so it's going to be like a, you said, fun board yeah, tour. Maybe like seven, six <laughs> round nose, something like that. To help Sick. You back out, so. Well, you know, I know like, uh, you know, within the ranks of the world tour, there's obviously, you know, no, it's, there's no rumors anymore. Now it's, yes, there will be a, another tour in the makings. Um, obviously, you're part of the ASP world tour right now. So it's kind of a touchy subject, but uh, what what is your uh, – let's say that you're just a dude on the outside. Like what is your opinion on uh, those two tours? Well, you know, the WQS is a grinding tour. I've done it for – I did it for four years, qualified on the WCT. Had a couple of great years on the CT, and, you know, it's it's really cool, you know, actually to come from that, surfing crappy waves and going to surf perfect little point breaks in Tahiti and all these really cool spots, really, I mean – Sponsors pay to go, like, let's go, they give you money to be there, okay, sick, but after a while, you're like, wow, you know, like, those tennis players and all these guys, like, that, you know, run and don't really do too much, like, surfers kind of put themselves at risk at a lot of times, and I think we're uh, over overlooked, in a way, and, yeah. like, 
prize money and maybe, you know, like if, you know, tennis players, I think there's been one serious, like, broken neck, you know, in tennis. But obviously surfing, dangerous sport. So do you think that the guys on the tour are – what do you think the top three issue is? Is uh, money, wave quality, um, exposure? Um, the exposure is pretty bad. Um, you know, the money, we, we show up after, like, we buy a plane ticket, say, like, for – I'm going to Europe here, and it's going to be like four grand probably for a ticket. And we get there, and we get five thousand bucks to show up. But it's like you got your rental car, you have your hotel, and by then you're already ten grand deep. Yeah, so so if you like, lose, you're you're like barely breaking even. Exactly, but you know, a lot of times for me, like I know some, you know, like whatever, you lose, you win, you lose, you win. But like this year, I've lost, I've lost more than I've won like heats and. Um, it's kind of been a struggle for me a bit, and I'm swallowing it, like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, freaking out. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just like you got to try to get yourself in the uh, out of out of the, the ditch, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, I think if there was anything, if anything was to get better, that would be good, whatever it is. And if there is this new tour and they say they're going to do something better, we're all going to be happy. Amen. Have you been Have you been approached about the new tour? Um no, not really. Actually, it's just I don't have anything to say bad about ASP because it's, it's just kind of like, well, okay, whatever. You know, like they've given me everything I have basically, and I have a sponsor because of it. And um, you know, just I'm happy that they've given me the job that I have. And then if there's somebody out there that say they're going to do better, then let's go. You know what I mean? That's a good answer. I like that, Tim. I like that answer. Now, um, a couple guys that you know really well coming up. Um, I don't want to say qualified. I don't want to jinx these dudes. Uh, Pakadowskis, Brett Simpson. Um, these guys are close. They're on the bubble. Um, how do you? What, what would you say to them to like get them over the hump and get them on the tour? Well, um, both Brett and Pat are are amazing surfers. We all have seen the footage of all these guys, and um, they're amazing kind of surfers. But it's just the thing is, is, you almost can't give up until it is the end of the year. You're you have your trophy in your hand or a check from your whatever sponsor saying, yeah, you qualified. But, you know, it's just you got to try your 100% all the way through. And sure. Come up to the come up to the big time, boys, and uh, Timmy will be smoking you at a contest <laughs> near you for a couple of years. Well, th- I'm not. <laughs> yes, you can't answer that one. Brett's my best friend, but I'm going to smoke you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now, um, this is kind of interesting. I'm probably embarrassed, Timmy, but uh, – you're actually dating a friend of ours. <laughs> okay, no comment on that. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, what else? Um, what's up? You know, I know you got lowers coming up. Um, what else? You got any more like crazy, awesome trips to make me and everybody out there like super jealous? No, as of right now, really, I'm just um, strength training, getting trying to get more flexible and uh, getting my head in ready for the game for this basically uh, whole Europe season and. You know, just need to turn my whole year around right now, and let's do it. do it. Let's do it right now. We're gonna do let's it. go one, two, three, Timmy. Yeah. Put your hand on top of my hand. Let's go. One, two, three, Timmy. <laughs> your year just turned around. Um, we uh, we're super psyched to go watch you surf at Lowers. If you get on that, if you're gonna go down there, go ahead and make a sign. It says go, Timmy. I'll make one, <laughs> and I'll be standing on the rocks. I can't wait. We actually have some new. Uh, footage of you we're going to be showing after this. Where is this footage we're about to see from? Uh, Mexico. Mexico, the native tongue of Timmy Reyes. <laughs> Check out the footy. We'll see you next week.